This video demonstrates how to use Scan and Solve software to perform a basic stress test on a solid modeled in Rhino. To start Scan and Solve, you type SNS in the command line of Rhino. The system responds by asking you to select a solid. After you click on the solid, it takes several seconds to load the software. Once the software is loaded, you will see the Scan and Solve menu box that will remain visible while Scan and Solve is being used. There are three basic steps in setting up the stress test. First, you need to choose the material from this pull-up menu on the left. In this case, we will assume that the bottle is made from a general purpose acrylic material. Next, we need to specify how the object will be held in place by restraining some of its faces. You can select as many faces as you want, but for the bottle, we will just restrain its bottom face. Finally, we need to specify forces or loads on the solid. For each load, we need to select a set of faces where the load will be applied. For the bottle, we will apply the pressure of 600,000 pascals to the top face, which may correspond approximately to placing a heavy object on the bottle. You are now ready to perform the stress test. The accuracy and speed of the test are controlled by the resolution slider, or you could leave it at default and just click the go button. The test usually takes a few minutes to perform, but the time depends on the resolution, geometric complexity of your solid model, and the hardware configuration that you are using. As we fast forward, you can see various stages of the scan and solve solution process by watching the progress bar. To see the results of the stress check, you need to switch to the View tab. The default view shows a color-coded plot of predicted danger level. Red indicates that the predicted stress exceeds the known strength of the material. Blue means that the material is minimally stressed, with green and yellow indicating that material is somewhat stressed, but is not likely to break. As you can see, in this case there are numerous red spots showing where the bottle is likely to break. The Deflected View button allows you to exaggerate the deformation of the solid under the stress. Experienced users can also switch to the Advanced View by clicking the Advanced button to examine various components of stress and displacement fields. It's easy to run additional tests. Just go back to the Specify tab, change the parameters, and click the Go button again. For example, changing the load to 300,000 pascals we see that the bottle is not likely to break. Please visit and register at www.scanandsolve.com to download the latest version of Scan and Solve for Rhino.